These are normally shaped red blood cells and these are sickle shaped red blood cells which can cause a condition called sickle cell disease which is the name for a group of inherited health conditions that affect your red blood cells. Sickle cell disease is particularly common in people with an African or Caribbean family background and people with sickle cell disease produce these unusually shaped red blood cells and these can cause problems because they don't live as long as healthy blood cells and they can block blood vessels. Sickle cell disease is a serious and lifelong health condition but treatment can help manage many of the symptoms and in this video we'll cover causes, symptoms and treatment options to help you understand more about the condition. As ever if you'd like to share your own experiences with the condition to help others or if you've learned something new please do leave a comment below as I'd love to hear from you. So first of all let's discuss the causes of sickle cell disease. Well sickle cell disease is caused by a gene that affects how red blood cells develop. If both your parents have the gene, there's a one in four chance of each child they have being born with sickle cell disease. However, the child's parents often won't have sickle cell disease themselves as they're only the carriers of the sickle cell trait. Because of this, you can request a blood test to check if you carry the sickle cell trait from your doctor or the nearest sickle cell center to you. In terms of symptoms, people born with sickle cell disease tend to have problems from early childhood, although some children have a few symptoms and can lead normal lives most of the time. Now, the main symptoms of sickle cell disease are painful episodes called sickle cell crises. These can be very severe and last for days or weeks. You can also have an increased risk of serious infections or anemia, which is where red blood cells can't carry enough oxygen around the body, which can cause tiredness as well as shortness of breath. Others might also experience other problems such as delayed growth, strokes or lung problems. People tend to know if they have sickle cell disease in the UK because it's often detected during pregnancy or soon after birth. This is because screening for sickle cell disease in pregnancy is offered to all pregnant women in England to check if there's a risk of a child being born with the condition. And all babies are offered screening as part of the newborn blood spot test, which is also known as the heel prick test. But if you don't live in England, check with your own health provider to see if you've been checked for this, if you're at risk or have any symptoms of sickle cell disease. And that's because blood tests can also be carried out at any age to check for the disease or to see if you're a carrier of the gene that causes it. So now we understand what it is and potential causes, let's discuss treatments for sickle cell disease. Now it's important to know that people with sickle cell disease need treatment throughout their lives. This is usually delivered by different health professionals in a specialist sickle cell center. It's also important that if you do have sickle cell disease, you do the things to look after your own health that you will have been guided to do. Now, there are a range of treatments that are available for sickle cell disease, and these are relatively easy things that you can do at home, as well as more complex things that you will need to speak to your health provider team about. So the easier things to do are things such as drinking plenty of fluids and staying warm to prevent the painful episodes, painkillers such as paracetamol or ibuprofen or sometimes treatment with stronger painkillers in hospital may also be necessary. Other medical options include daily antibiotics and having regular vaccinations to reduce your chances of getting an infection, specialist medicines to reduce symptoms and sometimes regular blood transfusions if symptoms continue or get worse or there are signs of damage caused by sickle cell disease. Occasionally an emergency blood transfusion might be needed if severe anemia develops. Now the only cure for sickle cell disease is a stem cell or bone marrow transplant but they're not done very often because of the risks involved. Finally in terms of outlook for sickle cell disease well again this varies between individuals from mild to serious but most people with it lead happy and normal lives and for this reason it's so important to be aware of the things that can make your sickle cell disease worse in order to avoid the potential triggers and be aware of all of the different treatment options that are available to you. Now mild sickle cell disease may have no impact on a person's day-to-day -day life but the illness can be serious enough to have a significant effect on a person's life and it can potentially lead to health problems like strokes, serious infections as well as problems affecting the lung. Overall the life expectancy for someone with sickle cell disease tends to be shorter than normal but again this can vary depending on the exact type of sickle cell disease a person has, how it's treated and what problems they experience. Research is being done all the time on sickle cell disease and it's improving outcomes continuously. 
If you'd like to know more about sickle cell disease to help you feel more in control, then please check the Sickle Cell Society, which is a UK charity for people with sickle cell disease. Their website has got a wide range of useful information, including news about research into the condition, as well as details of support groups. And I've included lots of other useful links to trusted websites in the description box of the video. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye.